It's Wednesday, which means AY Magazine in the studio. We have the January issue out right now that we're talking about, and editor Angela Thomas joins us, as well as a lot of healthy food and a nutritionist to tell us about it. Thank yes. you, ladies, for joining us. I'm so excited that Leslie is here. Um, in our January issue of the magazine, we talked about diabetes, and we t um, interviewed two ladies who are diabetics who have recently gone through diabetes education. Yes. And I was out driving on Shackleford Road and went, <laughs> oh, look, there's a St. Vincent's Diabetes and Endocrinology Clinic right there, very conveniently located, and they hold these wonderful classes to teach yes, diabetics mm -hmm. how to eat. Yes. And I'm so excited because I said to Leslie, I'm so excited that you brought corn and it's standing over here, mm -hmm. <laughs> so to speak, next to starch. the bread because it is a start. And these are product, these are the serving sizes of these items that you should be eating. I'm going to let Leslie talk more about it. It's Leslie McNally. Leslie McNally. Yes. And what are all these letters behind your name? M-S-R-D-L-D. -D. What does that stand for? Master of Science, mm -hmm. uh, Registered Dietitian, mm -hmm. Licensed mm -hmm. Dietitian. Okay, wonderful. That's what it stands for. So Leslie, tell us about what's going on here. Well, these food models represent proper portions of foods. Um, portion control is a problem for many people. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything's supersized or biggie sized and it's kind of misleading mm -hmm. to others. So it's very, very important that we have the proper knowledge of proper portions mm -hmm. uh, for just maintaining a healthy diet in anyone. Right. It's even more important for those who have diabetes to do this because you're gonna be keeping um, within a certain carbohydrate range. Right. Okay. Um, but with these portions, we have our fruits, we have vegetables, starches, and that's cereal, so mm -hmm. go in the starch, mm -hmm. milk, and then this shows like, a, it shows a balanced plate. Right, and I love that. Can you hold it up again? Yes. Because at the top there, that's the number of vegetables that you should be eating, and I must confess, sometimes when I pack lunch, I put my meat there. Mm -hmm. uh, Absolutely. <laughs> that's very, I do the same thing, Angela. You want typically half your plate to be non-starchy vegetables. This is where you're getting all your nutrition, a lot of your nutrition, antioxidants, it's not high calorie, there's no fat, mm -hmm. very low carb, so you can afford to have more of this. Mm -hmm. uh, quarter of your plate, a protein source, lean protein, mm -hmm. um, and then a quarter of your plate, some kind of starch, right. beans, whole grains, um, you could do a third of a cup of rice here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then on the side, you could have a, a, a milk serving or you could do a piece of fruit right mm -hmm. but it's very colorful you want to color your plate right. balance mm -hmm. it's all about balance yeah and the thing is uh, you know I'm always excited because I love fruit and um, this is the size of an apple that, that you should have. Tennis ball so size. I mean, wow. <laughs> so I think the thing is it's very interesting when you talk to a dietitian about talking about the portions that you mm -hmm. should have and Leslie said the trick about getting a piece of fruit that's the appropriate size is to buy it in bulk versus buying it they're a lot smaller the when you buy them in the bags. Mm -hmm. okay. um, that you could get a larger apple, it would be two fruit servings right. versus one. Okay. Yes, that's yes. true. So when it's an apple, it's not as much of a problem as if it were something else's starch. Let's talk about, we're almost out of mm -hmm. time, but carbs, how many carbs appropriate for a diet or a starch, for example? Um, well, carbohydrate, we need carbs. Mm -hmm. Carbs break down into sugar in our body. It's our gas in the gas tank. About 50% mm -hmm. of your calories should come from carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. It's easy to obtain because most foods have carbs. Mm -hmm. The fruits, starches, milk. Um, the carb range for someone who has diabetes, but really anyone, is 30 to 45 grams of carb per meal for a wow. female, 30 to 60 grams of carb per meal for a male. Okay. okay. Uh, snacks, about 15 to 30 grams of carb, three snacks a day are optional depending on how active you are. Mm -hmm. Great, great information from Leslie McNally. Yes. Thank you, you can read more about it in AY Magazine, the January mm -hmm. issue on Stands Now, and editor Angela Thomas will join us next week to talk about the February issue. Yes. Thanks ladies for joining Thank us. You. Thank you.